I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. War hero and or Olympian, with your help, we're gonna... Listen, hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here, we know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us.
Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has as a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills.
When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity. 